I've let my uh, engine mount dry a full day and now I'm going to peel the tape off and it's always like a Christmas present unwrapping it. Uh, we don't know what we're going to get, whether we're going to get coal or we're going to get a good gift. Oh, that one looks nice. <gasps> that one's bad. Because what I'm doing is I'm pulling up the tape, or pulling up the paint. Shouldn't be pulling up the paint. And we get to do a repair. Yeah, one good one, one bad one. So let's pull up the tape slow. I like that one. This little blemish here, I don't know what that's from, but uh, that gets covered by a decal, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, that's okay right there. Because uh, again, that's going to get covered by a decal. I'm not worried about it. I love decals. <laughs> they cover all my mistakes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Overall, I'm happy except for that one little spot right here. So I'm going to have to touch that up later with uh, some paint. Um, and I'm just going to use a little paintbrush and some black paint, the same black paint that I used here. The only thing that's not uh, painted is the um, engine tube that sticks out the back. Um, you could paint it if you want with a paintbrush. Uh, or you might cover it up with an engine retainer. Uh, since this is a 29 millimeter motor, an engine retainer is not a bad idea, especially if you're using reloadable motors. If it's a single use motor, um, I'd like to wrap just tape around the back end to hold it in. But with a reload motor in an expensive case, putting uh, an engine retainer on there is, is a really good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here, and our next step we're gonna put on the latches and then the legs.